If I had listed in January the 10 or 15 major things the Philadelphia Orchestra has done to change and pivot, I would have not believed it. This is your Philadelphia Orchestra. We believe that organizations of education and culture, organizations that enrich, that bring the community together, will be the ones that see Philadelphia to the other side of this. And we're, we're committed to that. What I was most excited about was the launch of our new season in September 2020, Our World Now, a revolutionary approach to programming where the music that the orchestra puts on the stage was about a deeper connection to our community in the realm of the environment, social justice, education and technology. On the morning of March 12th at 10.30 a.m., the orchestra and Yannick were on the stage of Verizon Hall, our beautiful home at the Kimmel Center, rehearsing for a concert that night. Word got to us that day that public assembly greater than 250 people was now forbidden in the city of Philadelphia. And I'll never forget that moment when we decided that morning to tell the audience not to come and invite the cameras in. That concert on March 12th has since been viewed over a million times by audiences around the world. That moment has been emblematic of everything that's happened since. We quickly pivoted to become a digital media organization. So we first created the Virtual Philadelphia Orchestra, a platform for sharing our performances, newly created content, uh, community uh, and education work. Our neighborhood concerts migrated to being filmed uh, in important locations around our city, like Harriet's Bookshop or Belmont Mansion or the Marian Anderson Museum. We've collaborated with local hospitals, beginning with Penn Medicine, to make sure that there's a Philadelphia Orchestra channel in every patient's room. We created new art as well. The great composer Valerie Coleman has written a piece of music that was commissioned by Yannick and the Philadelphia Orchestra called Seven O'Clock Shout. It has become the Philadelphia Orchestra's anthem, and it's a, a celebratory piece called Seven O'Clock Shout because that's the time that the healthcare workers, when they change shifts, would get sort of applause um, from, neighbor, from people in their neighborhoods, in their own communities. This year has been extraordinary in the number and intensity of crises real human crises, not just COVID-19. When George Floyd was murdered, we realized that as the Philadelphia Orchestra, silence was complicity, and we needed to start speaking much more loudly about this issue in our community. We created a program called Here Together to talk about racism in classical music and what organizations like the Philadelphia Orchestra need to do now to become more inclusive, diverse, equitable, and accessible. To be the Association of Fundraising Professionals awardee for National Philanthropy Day and to get the award for arts and culture is a deep honor for the Philadelphia Orchestra. We're incredibly grateful, thank you.